Hey, hello again. My name is Gina and we're cooking from our silver kitchens here in Penrith. All right. So what's our dish for today? We are having espasol, actually. Of course, another dessert. And what we're going to be using is my very favorite wok, the smaller version this time. You know how I was always saying that this is always in my cooktop because this is where I actually cook. Just going to get this one ready. Actually cook my stir fries, my fried rice, my soup, but not just those, also my desserts. My leche flan, my halaya, what else? My puto bumbong. And this time I'm going to show you, my biko, show you how to cook our espasol. Okay, another very traditional dish if you're reminiscing of childhood meriendas. So this is it. Okay, so what are our dish, our ingredients for our espasol? Simple. Just so right into the budget. You won't spend too much. So all you need is your glutinous rice. So for our dish today, I'm going to be using so that's 500 grams for and a half 250 750 grams of glutinous rice so what we're going to do with this one is put them into our wok sorry miss my scissor okay so we're going to Put it in medium heat, so you have to make sure that you don't put your fire too high. Because what? Oh, glutinous rice. Okay, a little bit low on that. Of course, we're going to be needing some, a cup of coconut milk, sugar, brown sugar, a little bit of salt, a sprinkling of salt. Vanilla flavor. Optional is um, your shredded coconut, young coconut or makapuno will do. And if you like, you can also put some crispy rice flakes. So the crispy rice flakes to give it a nice um, crunch when you eat your espasol. How good is that? Okay, so we're ready. Simple, easy on the budget recipe. But also indulging okay so we just need to um, roast and toast our glutinous rice put them there in okay so medium fire you don't want to burn them Right. So you just have to steer them so that they roast evenly. And what you wanted is not really to have it so brown. You just want the texture to be a little bit um, grounded um, compared to the silky smooth um, texture of the raw rice flour. our roasted toasted flour rice flour rice 
flour toasted. Again, we turn our fire and we now cook on our coconut, coconut milk. Half cup of sugar. Okay, so the sweetness depends on your liking. So let's just put it to just half because I'd like to put a little bit of that um, makapuno into our mixture. So half and one quart teaspoon of our vanilla. Okay. And of course the salt, don't forget the salt. And then I'm gonna add already our makapuno. Yeah, so this is going to be really special espasol with the makapuno. So just half a cup. So again, depending on your preference, you can add more if you want it to be more uh, chewy when you want to chew more of the coconut. So you just keep on stirring until the sugar dissolves in the mixture. And while we're waiting for that to boil, I'm going to divide part of our toasted rice flour. So I'm going to set aside like the 250 grams that we have added. Hmm, use this. Okay. So take away the 250 grams. Because this is where we're going to roll the rest of our, our cooked espasol after. Okay, there you go. So still. that our coconut milk is well cooked and then we combine our toasted rice flour okay and then lower our temperature even more from medium to low medium Just need to keep on stirring them until you get that consistency that it is sticky and heavy. So you get to need a lot of muscle <laughs> to do this and a little bit more patience so your fire should be on lo low medium heat and this is the time that we put on our crispy rice flakes so again depending on your preference can be more Your 
prepared container with um, the roasted toasted um, rice flour. And this is where we cool it down for a while before we cut them into desired size that we want to serve it. So what we wanted to do here is just flatten it on the on the tray. Mm. Let's scrape our walk. So you just flatten it on our tray. And wait for it to cool down a bit until it's um, until we can touch them and um, divide them into portions to the size that we wanted them to be served. So wait for it for a while. Sprinkle a bit more of it. The dough. Set aside until it's easy and cold enough for us to handle. Okay, I think it's cold enough to handle. So we can now cut our espasol to our desired size. So it's going to be a bit messy. So I'm going to, again, put on my gloves. And so we have covered our espasol in toasted flour. So what we're going to do is, again, this is why I like the scissor. So now you need to cut with your knife. All you have to do is cut them in your desired size. You can do slanting, bite size, cut. And then coat them in our toasted rice flour. I can still feel the crispiness of our rice flake on the inside. So there you go, our cocoa or coffee, and then indulge again. So easy, done in less than an hour. Thank you.